Hi, welcome to AI Late to Class. Hi, welcome to AI Late to Class. Hi, tonight I'm looking at Maya One Text to Speech, a free open source alternative to commercial voice design tools like Eleven Labs and Minimax Audio. Most text to speech only give you a drop down list of voices you can choose from or clone a voice that you have but voice design lets you make any type of voice imaginable. Maya One also gives you a range of emotion tags to control the tone, for example, angry, excited, laughing. In this tutorial, I'm going to try some prompts from the commercial products, Minimax Audio and Eleven Labs, and see if I can get the same sort of results of voices or create voices similar to that using Maya One text-to-speech. I'll also go through the install, so stay watching. Here's the Maya One Hugging Face page. So looking down at this, what does it do? Create any voice you can imagine, a 20s British girl, American guy, or a full-blown demon. Uh, what else? Make it feel real with emotion tags, laugh, cry, whisper, rage, etc. as I mentioned before. Let's just look at one of the demos. <laughs> hey everyone, how's your day going? Mine's been absolutely crazy because we just launched on Hugging Face. <laughs> I'm so happy to finally be here. Wanna see what I can do? I can go from excited to calm, from serious to... Okay, you get that. Moving down the page, there's a few examples here. We'll just have a look at this last one. And it's got here mythical, godlike, magical character, female voice in their 30s, slow pacing, curious tone at medium intensity. After all we went through to pull him out of that mess, I can't believe he was the traitor. So we're going to use Comfy UI to get this going and we need to install this node here. So you can come down here and you can copy that and get, clone it into the custom nodes directory or you can go into your manager inside Comfy UI. Click manager, go into custom nodes manager and in here you want to type in Maya and you've got two of them to choose from. The one you need is this one here, Sagan Naki 22. Next we'll bring in the workflow to see how we download the models. When you open the workflow up, you've got two nodes here. They both do the same thing. I've chosen this one at the bottom, but you can use the one at the top if you want. And you just click that and enable that and then disable the other one down the bottom. Obviously, you enable that too. Got the same settings. It's got the tokens and the temperature and the top P and the penalty. It's got your seed, randomize, and you can change the attention method. To get the models installed, we need this structure here. So first of all, we need to do this pip install on the Hugging Face Hub. Copy this line here and paste that into the command line interface. Or you could go over to the Hugging Face page and download all the files individually and put them in the file structure that's required over here. All the information I just talked about is on the GitHub page for this node. You can scroll down and you can have a look at all of these perimeters mentioned over here. Top P, temperature, max tokens, etc. So before we get started, we'll have a look at Minimax Audio's voice design. So on the website, we come down here and click on voice design. Like Maya One, there's some presets here to get you started, but I like just typing straight into it what sort of voice I'm interested in and do some preview text down here. Click Generate to hear the preview, and then you can save that as a voice into your voice design. In voice design, I've got this Warlock voice I've made. Hi, welcome to AI Late to Class. And here's the prompt, so I'm going to copy that prompt there. I've gone into ChatGPT and I've talked about that I'm using Maya One TTS in Comfy UI and I've given that prompt that I've just copied and then I've posted all of this sort of structure example prompts and I got that in here over the side here. I've just copied all of these down here into chat so that it can reshape the prompt there so it'll fit the structure that Maya TTS does. It gave me these options down here. I just chose the first one, went over, and then I copied and pasted it into there. 
and put my usual hi welcome to AI late to class and here's the output. Hi, welcome to AI late to class. Now that came out amazingly well. I didn't expect that to come out anywhere near Minimax audio just from a simple prompt like that. If anything, I think it came out a lot better and it's such a small model. Unfortunately, I had the seed ticked to random, so if I type something else and click run, it'll generate a voice similar but not quite the same. And that's no good because we want to have a consistent sounding voice. So the only way that we can do it is put up our tokens to high and generate a long piece of text, like lots of words about something. And once we've got that voice, then we're going to have to go on to these voice cloners over here. There are three voice cloners on this video here I've done. The best one for using that generated voice would be Chatterbox. And we can just generate over and over again. It's very fast and that'll have you going whether you're making a full length movie or just a short clip. When creating our voice prompts, we've got to choose between two styles. We've got our realistic voices and our creative voices. So we write that word at the front of the prompt. And if we look over here, at the side here, we've got to write about the age of the person, the gender, and the accent of them. The next bit is the tone. You've got warm, cold, and then after that, the pacing of the voice, slow, fast. And then we've got to be looking at deep, high-pitched, raspy. Once you've written your prompt in there, click Control and Enter to save it and click outside there. This node's a bit buggy, so when you copy and paste something, don't worry if you can't see the word at the end. It is actually there, it's just not showing up there. Sometimes when you go to copy and paste something too, you go Control and V and it doesn't paste through, but you'll see a little box and you have to wait till the word paste comes up and click that. I didn't find these buttons at the top of any use. They're the same prompts that are in there anyway. If you like click the demon one, it sometimes shows up and sometimes doesn't. So I just go down there and copy and paste it in anyway. When using this editor, it might be better if you enlarge it and you can put your tags in that way and click save. Depending on your computer, you might want to keep this VRAM on. I've got 16 gig VRAM, so I keep that on, but you might want to turn it off in other circumstances. And you might want to use this long form chunking if you're doing real long stuff. It's an experimental one, as you can see, greater than 80 words. This is self-explanatory, as you see to the side there. 1,000 tokens is around 20 seconds of audio. I didn't find that it adhered to it too well. It was coming out with all sorts of random times, so it's just a trial and error. The other thing you might want to try is moving the 0.4 upwards a bit to get more of a variation in the voice. And these ones here... You don't need to change those, keep those at the default. So we can go back to Minimax and we can go to the library and look at some of the pre-made voices by Minimax. The soft breeze dancing through leaves, the delicate tinkle of Chinese tea is served. I'm going to copy this prompt here and then go into ChatGPT and I've just written, can you make this prompt in a structure ready for Maya 1 TTS? I'll just try out this first one. I'll just play that sample. Hi, welcome to AI Late to Class. Didn't get quite close to what I want, so I'm going to try one of the other prompts. Go for this option C. I'll just try that. Hi, welcome to AI Late to Class. So that's more like what I wanted. I only took two goes at it. I'm now going to go through 11 labs and their voice design. So we'll just log in. From the home page, we come down to this voice design and same thing, just explain what you want. They do have the presets there as well and generate voice. To see where your voices are stored, go to voices, my voices, and I've only got one in here. I'm just going to click on that. Let's have a listen to that. Your weapons are but toothpicks to me. <laughs> so here's the prompt here. I'm going to copy that and get that into chat GPT. This is our result. Hi, welcome to AI Late to Class. Not quite what I'm wanting, so I might use some of these emotion tags, such as the angry and excited ones up here in front of it. And the result came out a little bit more angrier. Hi, welcome to AI Late to Class. Good thing here on Eleventh Labs is you can search up a whole lot of voices. So I'm particularly looking after cartoon voices. I'm typing in cartoon and we can try all of those things and all the prompts are here. So let's just listen to this one here. Hi, 
My name is Lulu Lollipop. To get the prompt from this one, you have to come over to this plus button and add the voice. Then you go up to my voices. Notice on my one, I've used two of three slots. Now I come up here and go edit voice, and that'll bring up my prompt box, copy all of this text. Once I've done with that, I can actually then go back here and delete voice. So I haven't got my two of three slots used up and I can add more in. The result came out a bit AI-ish, but it seems to do that with any sort of high pitch type voices but let's have a listen hi welcome to ai late to class the overall voice still got very close to what i wanted if you're wondering where these are saving them to it's in your outputs folder under a folder called audio and the front name of them will be confi you can change these things here and you can bring the quality down but i mean you don't want to really do that looking back at my channel because we've got sound design now and if we look at this video here this is generating sound effects and if we go up further and we've got infinite talk so we can make our characters talk and of course as i mentioned we've got the clone one here we can stop paying for mini max and 11 labs well i hope this tool's useful to you i've been waiting for something like this ever since i saw voice designer first come out in 11 labs anyway watch all my old videos like subscribe and we'll see you in the next one